Hello and welcome to another video lecture from MrWatkins.com. This one is for IB students. It is on the light independent reaction. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the Calvin cycle for the light independent reaction. Um, <coughs> excuse me, if you have not seen the light dependent reaction, that needs to be taken care of first. The light dependent reaction provides the energy for the light independent reaction for the Calvin cycle to fix carbon. So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, carbon, carbon dioxide comes into the system. So I'm going to put the carbon dioxide molecule here. This carbon dioxide comes in from the air. The atmosphere has about 0.03% carbon dioxide. And it comes into this system, into the leaf, through the stomata, uh, into the uh, photosynthetic cells, or the ones that do most of photosynthesis, like in a C3 plant that's going to be palisade mesophyll. It comes inside the thal or excuse me, inside the chloroplast, and it resides or goes or gets into the system where the Calvin cycle occurs in the stroma of the chloroplast. Now that's just going to be inside the chloroplast outer membrane, but it's not going to be inside the thalacoid. So carbon dioxide will come in and it will react with a molecule that I'm going to abbreviate RUBP, and that's ribulose biphosphate. I think what we have in our uh, our flowcharts is ribulose 1,5-phosphate. The flowcharts can be downloaded off of the website. But these two things come together. The molecule, there's a special enzyme, an enzyme that you have to know. The molecule that puts this, this enzyme that puts this together is called Rubisco. And Rubisco is a very, very important enzyme. It stands for uh, <coughs> excuse me, ribulose biphosphate carboxylase. It's an enzyme that you have to know. But it does a lot of different, uh, works in a lot of different organisms, major protein that fixes carbon um, into a system or into a, a group of molecules. And this uh, process is not just done in plants, um, it's found also in uh, um, prokaryotic organisms like bacteria. So anyway, these two molecules will come together. Rubisco the, is the enzyme that puts that together. And it forms a very unstable six carbon uh, molecule. So I'm just going to put six uh, carbon here. It's probably not going to fit, but six carbon molecule. Now you need to understand that ribulose biphosphate has five carbons in it, and it has two phosphates. So when Rubisco works and carbon dioxide is there, it's going to form this molecule immediately, but immediately, and, and it's within nanoseconds here, that this molecule will actually split into two molecules called PGA, or phosphoglyceric acid. Now, PGA, each one of these is only going to have three carbons and one phosphate. And here's the deal. Five carbons, ribulose biphosphate, carbon dioxide, one carbon, makes this six carbon molecule. There were two phosphates already on the ribulose biphosphate. Um, sometimes here in America we call it diphosphate. This will then split, and that's where we get our three carbon uh, for one of them, one phosphate, three carbon, one of them for another phosphate. The next piece that happens is this molecule gets acted upon by ATP. And remember that ATP was formed in the light reaction. When it was formed in this light reaction, the ATP um, is sent out into the stroma outside this thylakoid membrane. And the ATP then will work on this PGA, and it'll do it on both, and I'm just not going to put put them to both because I don't want to be confusing, but it phosphorylates this PGA, and so that we get a new molecule called DPGA, uh, or diphosphoglyceric acid, so DPGA. Three carbons, now two phosphates. This molecule will also get acted upon again by um, NADPH, and NADPH, that molecule was um, formed in this light dependent reaction where we have our thylakoid membranes right off of NADP reductase here and that's going to provide some energy. It's going to get rid of a phosphate, it's going to add in some hydrogens, you don't really need to know all of that de detail, but this is going to make basically um, PGAL or phosphoglyceric, uh, phosphoglyceraldehyde um, or uh, glycerate 3 phosphate. And I'm going to just put PGAL here because that's probably, that is what's on the uh, forms, but I believe IB calls it um, glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate or G3P. 
Now, this molecule is basically the end of the cyclone. I know it's a cyclone, I know I say end, but this is a point where these molecules can jump out of the cycle be pulled out of the cycle and move on to form uh, glucose. Um, now in plants, glucose can be stored as starch. Um, glucose is also used to make cellulose. And so this molecule here has to do with um, the place where in this Calvin cycle that that uh, metabolic pathway, that pathway can occur. If it doesn't, if it's going back around in the cycle here, then we're going to make a molecule called RUP, which mean, which stands for ribulose um, phosphate. So it's just got one phosphate, five carbons, one phosphate. And then to get to the ribulose biphosphate, another ATP molecule gets added, and it's phosphorylating to become that. This whole circle then is complete. Now, there are other places where molecules can jump off, such as oxygen. If oxygen happens to get in here instead of the carbon dioxide, it'll actually pull the RUBP and it'll pull it right out of the system. Calvin cycle doesn't occur. We don't have this um, ATP being used. PGAL is not formed and so therefore glucose is not formed. And if glucose isn't made, starches and sucrose can't be made in some other products. Now in the atmosphere, the atmosphere has about 22% carbon, uh, excuse me, 22%, 21-22% oxygen and about 0.3% carbon dioxide. In nice temperate climates like what we have, it's not a huge deal. But in uh, arid climates where there's a possibility of losing moisture and so the leaf has to close up those stoma so that it can um, conserve some of that moisture but it blocks out the atmospheric uh, the air from the atmosphere, um, that can become a problem. You'll need to watch the video on C3 and C4 um, to get a better understanding on that. But this is the basic pieces of the light independent reaction. This particular part is called the Calvin cycle. And then just the other pieces that an IB student would need to know is that from this point on, the molecules can go up uh, or can go on and form uh, glucose and it's glucose um, 6 phosphate and that glucose then can be converted into starch or cellulose or any of those other products. Thank you.